Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, and today we will be going to episode five of my Revenge of the Sith novel series. Um, massive video today. Uh, today we'll be going through the siege on the Jedi Temple. Um, yeah, this is where I guess Anakin and the Five O First clones storm the Jedi Temple, and the aftermath of that. Um, and Obi Wan and Yoda going into the temple. Um, and discovering, seeing the footage, seeing the security cameras, you know, um, searching through the temple to find any remaining Jedi, um, um, yeah, and ambushing the clones. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. But uh, if you guys do go on to enjoy and have been enjoying the content recently, please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button um, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any more of my content because... This series is really on the up rise now. Um, yeah, and I can't wait for you guys to get stuck right into this episode and the last couple ones. So yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into it. It hurt Obi-Wan to see black smoke billowing from the Jedi Temple. It hurt more to enter and find clones dressed in Jedi robes, waiting to ambush any real Jedi who came in. But what hurt the most was seeing the bodies of beings he had known and worked with lying everywhere and the Padawans and younglings, no one had survived. Most disturbing of all were the bodies that had been killed, not by laser blasts, but by a lightsaber. The Sith Lord, Obi-Wan thought. Who else would use a lightsaber against Jedi? Obi-Wan swallowed hard. It had to be the Sith. Nobody else would. It had to be him. Obi-Wan and Yoda had no trouble disposing of the first few clones they encountered. Once they were inside, they had even less trouble avoiding the others. The Jedi Temple was an enormous war room of passengers and rooms. It took new Padawans years to learn their way around all of the sections. The clones had been there for less than a day. Still, avoiding the clones took time. It was full night by the time they reached the main control center. Yoda stood guard while Obi-Wan reset the beacon and then added a few twists to hide what he had done. When Yoda gave him an impatient look, Obi-Wan explained, I've recalibrated the code to warn any surviving Jedi away. Stay away. That was much better than what simply disabling the beacon. Good, Yoda nodded his approval. To discover the recalibration, a long time it will take. To change it back, longer still. He gestured toward the door. Hurry. But Obi-Wan shook his head and crossed to the hologram area. As he reached for the switch that would replay the recording, Yoda said gently, Master Obi-Wan. The truth you already know. To face it will only cause you anger and pain. I must no, he had to watch the killings. He needed to see the face of the Sith Lord who had helped butcher all the Jedi in the temple. I must know, Master. His finger hit the button. A hologram sprang up, showing the carnage in grim detail. Clone troopers fired on unsuspecting Jedi, cutting them down. And then a lightsaber flashed, held by a cloaked figure who cut down Jedi after Jedi, and Obi-Wan leaned forward. The figure turned. It was Anakin. It can't be, Obi-Wan whispered, heartbroken. It can't be! But the holographic recording was pitiless. It played back the fight, exactly as it had occurred, and Obi-Wan had to watch Anakin kill and kill again. And then another figure entered the pickup, hidden beneath a hood. To Obi-Wan's horror, Anakin turned and knelt before it. The traitors have been destroyed, Lord Sidious, Anakin said. Good, good, the voice that was Chancellor Palpatine. He was Darth Sidious, the Sith Lord. You have done well, my new apprentice. Do you feel your power growing? Yes, my master, Anakin said, and Obi-Wan shuddered. Lord Vader, your skills are unmatched by any Sith before you. The cloaked figure said, Now go and bring peace to the Empire. Empire? Obi-Wan's fingers flew over the hologram. Keys, shutting off the scene that was far too painful to continue watching. Instead, he searched the Holovid network for recent news. In seconds, the two Jedi learned what had been happening in the Senate, while they had been slipping through the silent halls of the Jedi Temple. Chancellor Palpatine, the Sith Lord Darth Sidious, had declared an Empire instead of the Republic. The Sith ruled the galaxy once more. Obi-Wan switched off the hologram completely, and the two Jedi stood in silence. How long had Darth Sidious been planning this? 
He had used the war, obviously. Count Dooku had been a Sith. Then Obi-Wan remembered. The first Sith he had encountered, back when he was still a Padawan. The Sith with the double-sided lightsaber, who had killed his master, Qui-Gon Jinn. Did this plot go back that far? Yes, it had to. He saw it now. The whole clever, subtle plan. The Jedi knew that Darth Sidious had urged the Trade Federation to start the long-ago war on Naboo. Now Obi-Wan could see the true purpose of that war. To provide the opportunity for Senator Palpatine to become Supreme Chancellor Palpatine. And then Palpatine must have seduced Count Dooku to the dark side. So that by the time his term as Chancellor was running out, the Separatists would be ready to start a larger war. Because of the Separatist threat, the Senate had begged Palpatine to stay on as Chancellor and granted him more and more emergency powers in an effort to win a war that always seemed about to finish, but never was quite won. Even the clone troops, the Jedi had accepted without question that Master Sifo Dyas had arranged for their creation. But Sifo Dyas was long dead. And that bounty hunter, the one who had provided the original genetic material for the clones, had told Obi-Wan that a man named Tyrannus had recruited him. Obi-Wan had thought it was another lie. They had found no man named Tyrannus, but I'll bet there was a Darth Tyrannus. Why didn't I see it then? The war had thinned the ranks of the Jedi, and spread those who remained out over many worlds, so they would be easy prey when the time came for the final attack. And now, not only the two of them were left here. Obi-Wan could still hope that others had survived elsewhere, but the devastation had seen in the last few hours had convinced him that no other Jedi remained alive on Coruscant. Yoda broke the silence at last, saying what they both knew. Destroy, Destroy the Sith, Sith. We must. We not just Emperor Palpatine, the Sith. There are always two, a master and an apprentice, two of them and two of us. And one of them is, send me to kill the Emperor, Obi-Wan said. He bowed his head. I will not kill, will Anakin. Not kill Anakin. Yoda gave him a to stern look. To destroy this Lord Sidious, you strong enough, enough. you are not. Like my brother. I know, we cannot but do it. Anakin's like my brother, Obi-Wan said in anguish. I cannot do this. Twisted. By the dark side, young Skywalker has become, Yoda said firmly. The boy you trained, gone he is. Consumed by Darth Vader. Obi-Wan flinched. How could it ever have come to this? To question, no time there is. Yoda started toward the door of the control room. I don't know where the Emperor sent him, Obi-Wan said, in a last desperate attempt to avoid the duty he knew he must face. I have no idea where to look. Use your feelings, Obi-Wan, and find him. You will, Yoda said as if he were instructing a reluctant Padawan. Visit the new Emperor, my task is. He looked at Obi-Wan with sympathy and understanding, but no pity. May the Force be with you. May the Force be with you, Master Yoda, Obi-Wan replied. Yoda was right as usual. He did know where to start looking for Anakin. Well, there you go, guys. Um, that is the summary. Well, not really a summary. It was a very in-depth explanation and, um, I guess, recount um, of really what has actually just happened. Like, what the hell has just gone on? Where are all the Jedi? Order 66, past, like, 20 years. What the hell? I loved the depths it went to, absolutely love the depths and the explanation it went to, um, and cruel to with, back to Obi-Wan, with Darth Maul, the Jewel of the Fates, I love the way this is written, I love this, um, yeah, so, we got insight on how to, how it went back to Jewel of the Fates, Obi-Wan versus Darth Maul, um, him being the Sith, returning, uh, Palpatine going that far back, Chancellor, the Chancellor, um, and how his Darth Sidious, Count Dooku, Darth Tyrannus, Jango Fett, the Bounty Hunter, Sifo Dias. Man, I love this. Um, yeah, so really a lot of, a lot of dialogue between Obi-Wan and Yoda. Really, really cool. Um, we saw a lot of this in the movie Revenge of the Sith. This is why I love Revenge of the Sith. This is why it's my favorite Star Wars movie. Um, 
Yeah, but we just got so much more in this passage of the novel. Amazing. Beautiful, man. Um, Yeah, there's really not much else to say. They had a lot of stuff together. Now, Obi-Wan is off to fight Anakin. And Yoda is off to fight Darth Sidious. Or Obi-Wan is off to fight Darth Vader. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for the next couple episodes. I think there's four or five left in this series, so, yeah. I know I've said it really ramps up from here, literally every episode, but it really ramps up from here. But, like, well, it's already ramped up, you know? But, yeah, stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't already, force push the like button, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any more of this series or any more of my content. Thanks for watching. May the Force be with you. Always.